Judges 19.1 opens with this line, Now in those days there was no king in Israel. There's no civil nor moral leadership at this time. And Judges chapter 19, I mean, if chapters in the Bible came with ratings, not like four or five stars for their significance or perhaps their impact upon our own walks with the Lord, but ratings for the appropriateness of their content for certain ages, chapter 19 would have to rank as rated R for the insight and detail it gives for just how far gone, sinful, hard-hearted, and how lost the people of God had become. You know, Pastor David Guzik, when commenting on this chapter, it's interesting. He says, what unfolds in the rest of this chapter is so distasteful that commentator F.B. Meyer recommended not reading it. Commenting on these four words, no king in Israel, he wrote, it will be sufficient to ponder these words, which will occur four times in the book, without reading further this terrible chapter, which shows the depths of the depravity to which one may sink apart from the grace of God. See, this chapter displays one of the lowest points in the history of the nation of Israel. So what's the lesson for us today in this dark chapter? See, this chapter begins with the disclaimer, in those days, Israel had no king. We can thank God today that by His grace, we have been given a righteous king, Jesus Christ, to rule over our lives. And we need never live in a day where there is no king to rule over us. However, we can still run the risk of ignoring our king and doing what's right in our own eyes. So my encouragement today from Judges chapter 19, this dark chapter, Freshly surrender your heart to the Lordship of Jesus, because without a king over our hearts, our hearts have the ability to dive into the depths of depravity. Today, I'm so thankful for King Jesus.